Hello everyone, and welcome to Monaco. So, it's been quite a while since my last video, hasn't it? So I thought I'd uh, pop on and, and make you guys a video. I, I have these urges every now and again to uh, to, to jump on, uh, play a bit of the game, record some and commentate it. And I'm actually even excited to commentate it. So, uh, yes, I don't know why I have these urges, but they do happen. So there I am. I'm Daniel Ricciardo, racing the Red Bull. I mentioned this is Monaco, and I obviously started from the back of the grid. There's my teammate up in P9. Of course, uh, yeah, this is last year's F1 2015 game, of course. And uh, there was, if some F, is some F1 2016 news, which I'm sure you will have already, already heard by now from either uh, one of the other YouTube YouTubers or on Twitter. Um, I will hopefully be bringing you a video next week about that. I want to um, sort of learn a bit more about it first before, before I bring that video. So anyway, we're on the grid now. And uh, just considering my strategy options, um, you saw me try and load a setup. I'm just hoping that it's kept my setup from practice one because um, I didn't actually save that setup. And it's just literally a... Uh, um, slightly low downforce setup. It's just a default setup. I've not changed anything at all other than just um, go to sl slightly low downforce, not the full low downforce one. Um, so it's the fourth one from the left. So here we are then, we're on the grid. We're in front of us. Hopefully, better clear those soon. We've got five lights and they're out and we're away then. So not a great launch. This is my first race start in quite some time in this game. I only did about maybe 10 laps practice or so, so not a massive amount. And I go straight up to Rich trying to dunk the inside of the Marushas here, which is worked nicely. And I have a little go button. Oh, a bit of contact with the Marushas. I think it must have been three wide there. I ended up hitting my rear end. And I almost spent, but luckily managed to save it. So up three places off the start. Not bad at all. And uh, Hulkenberg here going pretty slowly. Have a little look on the outside. Do I think about it? Oh, a little, little look. Luckily, you see the room. And uh, that's the move done, I think. He's alongside me, though. I have to break late, but luckily there's lots of cars all going in a straight line ahead of us. Uh, we're in a train, rather. So uh, that made it nice and easy for us. And a little bit caught up the car behind. We have a little doubt inside into the hairpin, then. Um, that's on Perez here on our left hand side, but we're not on our right hand side. We're not going down. Oh, and he squeezed us massively there, almost into the barrier, but not quite fortunately. We've given plenty of room on the inside here. Oh, and we've been punted straight into the barrier. And uh, we'll have to watch a replay of that. So there we are at the bottom of the screen. They're just exiting the chicane side by side. Still side by side. He squeezes me a lot and almost makes contact. Didn't quite manage it though. And uh, oh, he just must have tapped the inside barrier there with his uh, rear wheel spinning into me and pushed me straight into the barrier. So we'll try that again. Five lights then, and we're away. See so if we can get a better launch this time. Didn't bog down quite so much. A bit more aggressive on the throttle pedal. A little bit better, better launch, but still not quite as good as the uh, AI there. Have a look at the inside. A bit more aggressive on the brakes this time. Oh, lot big lock up there. We think about having a look, look at the inside of the button, but we decide three wide into turn one is not a good idea. We're still ahead of the Marushas, though, so not so good off the start this time, but a little bit more practice now. We know the weaknesses of the AI. So there we go. Straight on the outside of the button. Then, oh, big clock of the barrier, though. That's the first time we tried that. So it uh, didn't quite work, but clearly we've got the grip. We just need to perhaps take a little bit less pace through there. Oh, very, very close. I don't know how we didn't lose our front wing on the McLaren ahead of us there. But uh, trying to squeeze uh, Eric's on the outside here. Oh, he makes big contact with us, though. And we're still all right. Luckily, we've got no damage to our front wing. We're trying to keep it tight. We don't really want to be overtaken here, but we don't have a lot of choice in the matter. Perez is trying to undercut him. They dive back under him, which is what nicely going to be the inside for the next corner then. And I've done the exact same thing. I think it was the same driver, wasn't it, Perez? As he did to me the previous race. So we'll try again then. Five lights. See if we get an even better start this time. Bit more revs. Bit more aggressive on the throttle. Higher revs off the start. Bit more wheel spin. Didn't seem to help us much more on the start, though, but... Still not a bad start. Oh, almost contact again. They're so slow on the start there. Managed to get a couple more positions this time, though. Nail on the curve, trying to give him plenty of room on the outside there. And it's Hogan up behind us. We managed to gain four positions on the start this time. Go to standards. We'll see if we make it on the outside this time. We're going to give it a go. Slow it down a bit more. That's much better. Look at that. There's one overtake. There's another overtake. Let's see if we can keep out of the wall. Yes, we can beautifully. That was a nice move there. So another couple of overtakes on the outside then. At the top of the hill, another couple of overtakes here. Diving up the inside. All the way to P12. If we make this one stick, I have to leave a bit of room on the inside. They're still there. Oh, big contact. That was probably my fault. I was trying to squeeze him a little bit there. So big contact, unfortunately, spun around, but I'm not going to restart again. Verstappen trying to undercut back under him, but didn't quite manage it on Verstappen. So we're up to P12 then. Pretty good start in Monaco. Almost halfway up the grid um, from the very back. And uh, if, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you'll remember that um, I did a career mode. And oh, hold on a minute, I'm going to dive inside of Verstappen here. Big contact. That was a bit, a little bit too aggressive. I'll let him go there because that was, that was too much. And I'm surprised I've only got a warning because that was big contact. Quite lucky to not get any damage as well. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have watched my channel for a little while, you'll know that I did a career mode in McLaren Honda. Put it on pole in Monaco and just restarted so many times. Had glitches and it was just the most frustrating thing of all time. And it, that's essentially what ended my career mode because I was so frustrated with it. And it was just so stupid. The AI was so aggressive. So that's what I've decided, of course, with Monaco this weekend. To go back to Monaco and see if we can exercise some of those demons. We've got Perez with a Mercedes engine behind us, but luckily the straight's too short. We're running quite a little downforce. So carried a lot of speed into turn one. Nailed the curve and managed to make it through just about. I had us lock the tyres a little bit there. We did go a little bit deep. I had to get quite hard on the brakes, but managed to make it stick just about. 
And uh, Long Brigade around the outside of Verstappen, this far back. Look at that mountain in the background, very beautiful stuff. But Verstappen, Verstappen a bit of uh, overstay on the exit there, sitting down at the inside. We're going to outbreak him here. Big lock up again. We're trying not to make contact, which we've managed to do, giving plenty of room. Oh, and very aggressively came over on, came over on us there. We're trying on the outside here, though. Can we make it stick? We're going to do the inside for the next corner. We have to try and leave room. Oh, we got pushed there, almost into him by the curb. And we leave us way too much room on the outside there, so that's going to leave us uh, the free move there. Plenty of wolves on the exit at that last corner. That's another move then, so. Of course, Monaco. <laughs> I, I, I figured, what car do I go in and where do I start? I decided to go for Red Bull because it's got quite a high downforce, but not the best engine. And I decided just just, just say, sod it, let's just start from the back. So, um, to be honest, even for this race, I was hoping for, for a podium. I've got pretty good pace. My pace is better than Mercedes drivers. And we've gone very deep there, though. We take a massive corner cut. We just break way too late there. Um, yes, my, my pace is actually slightly better than Mercedes drivers. So, it's all about if I can make the overtake stick. If I had free air, I'd, I would be able to win this race. But of course, free air is at very much a premium in Monaco. So up in P11, and we've got Alonso ahead of us. We're going to Rich because I'm aware that the McLaren Honda has not got straight line speed. Not got good straight line speed at all. So up the hill here, get a bit of slipstream. I'm gonna, we are gaining a massive. We're going to try up the inside if we can rather than the outside of this corner, which we managed to do. We need to avoid contact, which we've done beautifully. And nice move there. We made that work. And uh, yes, knowing the weaknesses of the McLaren Honda, they helped us massively. Now it's our teammate coming up next, Dano Kvyat. Kvyat. In the Red Bull. Now, we want to try and not take him out, but we know he's got, of course, got the exact same car as us. Probably a slightly different setup. Um, but he has got the exact same car. Now, theoretically, we should have a slightly lower downforce, providing it has saved our setup from free practice one. Um, but, of course, he's got just as much downforce as us and the same straight line speed as us. This could be a tricky one. It's not like we like, like we do with the McLaren, though. No. It's not like we can play to our car's strengths and, and uh, weaknesses. Uh, where we're we gaining we're massively. Look at the inside. We're going to go to Rich. See if we can just squeeze alongside him. But no, not quite. We have to back out of that one. That was always going to end in a massive aeroplane crash. So, we started against that one back to standard fuel. And, uh, when I raced the McLaren Honda around here, I did keep kept clocking, like I did on the, one of those my restarts, clocking the inside barrier and spun around. I did that a few times. So, I'm trying not to do that. You see me a few times like that one a little bit, making adjustments as I'm turning to a corner. I might turn and then make a couple of adjustments before I get to the apex. Um, because otherwise uh, I will hit the barrier and spin round. So very late to the nail the curb. We're right behind him now. Pretty good exit as well. Not bad. We're short shifting massively though. So we realise he's too close to uh, Maldonado. And we haven't got a straight line speed of him either. A little look on the outside though. Can we do it? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Oh no. We uh, unfortunately had to turn out the corner slightly. And that almost sent us in the barrier. So we lost a bit of time. Which means we're not going to have a look up. Have a look up the inside into that last corner. Um, but uh, to be honest with you. I think I, I think my favourite move at the minute is around the outside at the top of the hill. That seems to be most effective. Up the inside into that corner, I can do it. I can outbreak them there, but then they try and hang it on the outside, and we end up in a big crash because of that massive kink in the barrier. So, gonna go rich here now. Though we've got a nice lot of slipstream. See if we can have a little look at the inside of it. We're gonna be quite close. Are oh, we gonna have another lunge at the inside? Yes, we are. We're gonna do a classic Ricardo move. We managed to make it stick there. Oh, but unfortunately, really, I think in real life, Kvyat would have would have gone across the chicane and either taken the positions back or not. And oh wow, I don't know how he's managed to make a stick on the outside. They use a bit of the barrier. And I just about left him a car's whip, and he used that, and then used the barrier to take extra speed through there. And it just shows you how aggressive the AI are around this track. And uh, yeah, I, I, it's, a, it's a, I don't know, I'm not sure about that, that move I pulled in the chicane. It's a tight one, isn't it, really? I mean, on one hand, you could say that I was, uh, he should have given the position. On the other hand, you could say that that was way too aggressive by me. And, uh, you know, I, I was definitely alongside him, wheel by wheel, so I would say that's probably my corner. And he probably should have, should have left me the room. But uh, unfortunately, he made massive contact with me there, so... We uh, lost about half a second or so to him at the minute. You know, it shouldn't take us long to catch that back up. We're quite a lot faster than our teammate. I don't know why they don't quite manage to reach our apex. Lots of oversteer. We'll just keep it out of the barrier there. Very, very close stuff. And uh, again, nice and close to just less than half a second now. And I'm um, sure we'll be back to almost pushing him around very soon. It's very floaty. I don't like first gear much. I only really use it in the uh, hairpin because it's just so floaty. Just the car, the car four wheel drifts. It's not nice. Uh, we have on the exit there, nice bit of oversteer, controlled nicely. So, come on, you can see the big big gap now forming ahead of, who is it, Maldonado. So, now we're kind of trying to get up the outside of him here, but no, can't quite get the exit, unfortunately. Bit of contact as well, didn't want to really want to be doing that. So, there's a bit of a gap forming, so we need to try and get past these cars as quickly as possible. It's only a 25% race, so we're already a quarter of the way through it, so we need to make sure we're clearing the traffic, and we're only halfway through the pack. Um, of course, we've been only been past the slower cars, so we need to not be losing too much time behind these guys. Hamilton's done a fast lap race of 16.9. Our fast lap is half a second off that, but we know we can beat that if we're in free air. But we've got DRS at the minute. 
too far back from Kvyat to make a move, I think. They tend to get quite a good exit at that last corner. I tend to get a much better first turn than them, which I've done here. Going to be nice and close to them. Or him, rather. Going to Rich as well this time. Going to try and get a nice little slipstream going on the outside, I assume, into this corner, are we? Yes, we're going to try it. Breaking quite late there. Trying to get back on the power. Trying to hold it on the outside, which he's done nicely. Wheel by wheel to wheel through the next corner. Oh, massive oversteer there. We're still alongside us on the outside here. He's trying out breaking, which he manages to just about try and squeeze him on the exit. He's still there, still there, still there. Oh, luckily he backed out of that. And I think that one deserves a replay because that was pretty close stuff there. And let's have a look then. So, nice move this was. So, we're quite close behind it. We still have to outbreak him at the top of this hill, which we managed to do. Just get our front wheel alongside and then keep pushing it around the outside here. Then very much wheel, wheel, wheel to wheel through that next section. <laughs> you see my massive kick of oversteer there. Very much side by side here then. Two balls running side by side and he still just keeps his front wheel alongside me. You see here he dives across the racing line so luckily I have been spun out before with that similar sort of move so luckily he uh, was only just behind me there so I didn't get spun out. So that's that move done then. Up to P9 now into the points. Well into the points so Maldonado is next. We've got a bit of a gap to him at the minute. Interested to see how long it takes us to uh, close that gap. I wouldn't have thought it would be too long. A little bit of a corner cut there and I will warn you right now, this isn't my cleanest race of all time. Like I said, I did about 10 laps of practice. And of course, only against the AI, so I'm not too worried about track limits. I mean, I'm not going to take the mic too much, but... And we're already right at the back of Maldonado then. And again, massive uh, massive cut there, but I'm just trying to see if we can get some sort of line on them. We're just, I'm just so desperate to get past him. Oh, I think we go to the inside of that corner, but that was always going to end up in a massive crash. So little, lots of wheels from the exit. They're trying to get the power down. Going to Rich, but have got uh, DRS as well. Can we have a look, look at the inside of Maldonado here? He has got a Mercedes engine though, so... Little look, but nope, decide better of that. I did break my normal point and I uh, wasn't sure what point Maldonado break. So we're going to try a uh, similar move to Kvyat here on Maldonado, though, who knows a lot more aggressive. Oh, we've gone a little bit too deep that time, though. And can we know uh, we decide against trying to get the inside into the next corner that time? So we're going to have a look up the inside here now. I'm trying to fit it with the options on the left. I've accidentally selected tyres instead of fuel mix. And we're in alongside his leaving plenty of room. Oh, he comes very much across to me. Though. We're going to have a look up the inside to the hairpin then. We can absolutely nail the cover trying to avoid him, which has not worked in the slightest. Do so on the outside. No, we do cut across back, back across him, but we have made a bit of contact with him there and <laughs> absolutely booted the throttle there. And he's left us too much room again there. Absolutely booted the throttle there just to try and stay up the inside of him. So he left us room, which he did do. So quite aggressive stuff there, but, you know, it's Monaco. You do have to be aggressive. Up to P8. Then we've got a bit of a gap to Sebastian Vettel, who's in a Ferrari up ahead. Good couple of seconds. Lap 8. And then they'll be pitting in a couple of laps. Uh, that was P8, rather. That was lap uh, 7, I think it was. Something like that. It's a bit of a guess, educated guess. So, we've skipped all the way ahead to lap 16 then. We're now in P1. So, because we start on the soft tyres, I didn't really mention that, but we did start on the soft tyres. So, we managed to catch up to Vettel. And just as we did, he pitted. And uh, other than that, we only had a lap car, which is the car behind us to overtake. So, we've been on our own racing. And you see me now suffering with tyre wear. I was due to put on about lap 12, but I decided to stretch out as long as I could. And while I was faster than Raikkonen behind me, I decided to push it. Really, I've been pushing. Quali laps I've been doing, actually, for about nearly 10 laps now. Really, really pushing. Um, you can see me still doing it now, pushing quite hard, despite the fact these tyres are really quite warm, particularly the rears. There we go, lots of wheels on the exit now, really hustling the car, trying to get the last little bit of grip in there. You saw on the right side, their tyres fairly worn now. But it does mean that we're going to have about four laps at the end on brand new option tyres, and we're going to have to push our abs to the absolute limit. And I'm not sure, I've got about 11, sap ga 11 second gap or so to Raikkonen. I'm not sure how long it takes in the pits here. I know it's quite a short pit lane, but 11 seconds, that seems a bit too too short, so... Um, we, 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 we were still gaining a Raikkonen up to this point, and right now we're starting to, he's starting to more or less match our pace, so we're going to come into the pits this lap, down to first, you see pushing it, lots of oversteer there, just drifting it through most of that final lap there, and there's there's the three cars, and so Raikkonen, Hamilton, Rosberg, all bunched up tightly, a really good stop here, which we have got, 2.5 second stop, option tyres then, so they're all on used softs, I'm going to be on brand new option tyres. I think the end of this race might get a bit a bit, a little bit juicy. And uh, there they go then. So we're not going to be past those. Hopefully we don't have any traffic though. Where's Bottas? He's coming there. So I think he's going to be past us. Yes, he is a little bit cautious on the throttle there. Because I have spun into that barrier a few times before. So Bottas is ahead of us now. We're up to P5. So we gained about three or four positions or so. By uh, staying out much later. And certainly a lot of time just by staying out of traffic. But now is really where we've got. We're going to have a lot more grip. And already you can see visually I'm gaining on Bottas. After just one corner. And uh, I think we're all over him after this corner, even perhaps. Now, seven tenths. Our last count was wide there. And yep, now we're in the hairpin and we're pretty much all over him already. So we need to try and make him get past Bottas as quickly as we can so we can get onto the leaders and do something about those. We've not got long now, so we've put a bit of pressure on ourselves overtaking wise. Probably could have done with pitting a lap or two earlier. You see that big gap behind me, but of course, without a race engineer, I didn't know where the gap was. So I was just staying out for as long as I was quick while the gap was building to Raikkonen, I was staying out. 
And then it stopped building and wow, we're gonna have a look on the outside of Bottas. They get on the power and can we do it? No, we're trying to squeeze him, but he's still alongside us. Even plenty of room, bit of contact with the barrier there. We make the move stick and he was very slow on the exit there. I was very opportunistic there. I just put my foot down and very deep there. We lost you know, a good few tenths there, probably half a second. And uh, very opportunistic stuff there. And so that shows how much more grip they've got than these guys. We're going to try and use all of that now. What sort of gap we've got to Bottas? Looks like we're pretty safe already. So we go to Rich now. We've also got plenty of fuel. We can pretty much go Rich to the end. We've only got three laps left. We've got 2.9 seconds to Rosberg. So three second gap near enough. So we really have to push this. We need to try and catch him, well, within a lap or so. And then we've got, then we'll leave us about two laps to overtake three cars around Monaco. So I think the win is on the cards here, you know. The win is most definitely on the cards, especially since we've got Rich mixed till the end. And wow, we've just gained eight tenths in the first sector alone, which is mostly straight. Purple sector, unsurprisingly. And we can already see them. We're already pretty close to them. So, well, we're going to be caught by the end of this lap. So that'll give us, well, say two, about two and a half laps or so to get past three cars. But of course, they are very quick cars, particularly Mercedes. So good in a straight line. I think I'm going to have to get a bit inventive here. I think probably top of the hill around the outside. But I'm probably only going to have two chances at that. And there's three cars to overtake. So I'm going to have to get inventive somewhere here. And we're now pretty much on the back of Rosberg here. By the time we get to the sector count, I think we're going to be less than a second. And uh, yeah, six tenths then. So we've gained two seconds on him in this lap so far. And now we're all over in this. We've gained three, le over three seconds in a lap, effectively. And uh, so we're a lot quicker. We're probably about three and a half, four seconds a lap quicker than them at the minute. So we just need to find a way past. We know this is Monaco. So being that much quicker is one thing. Getting past is another. Especially Mercedes at so quick in a straight line. Look, look, look. They're just gaining on me hand over fist. Rosberg's done a fastest half of the race. So 15.5 just matched that. No, that must be my. I don't know what it said, was, but that was my fastest lap. So 15.5 is my fastest lap. And uh, have a look on the outside of Rosberg then. Very opportunistic once again. We've got the inside of here. This should be the move done. But oh, we've clocked the barrier massively there. And luckily, we've got no front, front wing damage. But we uh, unfortunately just turned it a little, little bit too tight there. I think I was a bit paranoid about hitting him on the outside there. And wasn't entirely sure how much grip I'd have either. So unfortunately, that, that should have been moved done. But we did manage to hit the barrier there. We, we did that move a couple of times this race. We should have been able to make it stick there. And uh, that would have been quite likely that we would have we would have uh, at least um, got P3 there. Probably a good chance that some moves on the next drivers as well. But they've got a bit of lap traffic here, which is slowing down massively. There we go. Bit of contact with Riken on the barrier there. That's going to be able to catch right up. I'm crawling through this corner. I don't really want to have any more contact and lose a wing or something. I do want to get this done. Um, breaking quite early there. Nazar needs to get out of the way. And uh, three tenths now. Look at the inside of Rosberg, but think better of that bit of contact there. Lock up the wheels. Going to try and go up the inside of Rosberg here, but unfortunately, now it's going to come over to our line. We have to back out of that. That's going to have a big crash once again. Oh, very close stuff. Cutting back across there. We're still right behind Rosberg. Now the traffic's out of the way, so now we need to try and get some DRS. Unfortunately, Rosberg's got it as well, but we're right behind him with Rich Mix. A nice lot of slipstream here. Will we have a look up at inside to turn one? We know we can't outbreak them by very much. We have done it. We've break massively late. Going very deep there. Oh, some more contact. And, uh, well. That's uh, what's going on behind us. Oh, there's big contact behind us there. And uh, let's have a look at the replay then. So, well, we know we were coming to the last lap here. Let's look on board with Rosberg. We knew we need to do something. So we've dived up the inside there. Typical Ricardo style. He's left off loads of room. And, oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. That wasn't entirely my fault. It wasn't an aggressive move, but it is Monaco. Let's have a look at Bottas then. See what happened with their big crash. And, uh, wow, it's just, this just shows how aggressive they are. Look at this. Just swerving all over. Even though he's hitting him, still staying on the power. And, but Nasra comes in as well for a bit of the action. Go with the off-ball cam here. So, look, he's... He only had his front wing alongside my rear wheel. I would say... It's a tight one, but I would say, oh, we got no front wing. So, that's our race over. Hopefully, we can stay in P3. Big gap behind. Hopefully, we can. But, yeah, I would actually say I was I was due the racing line there. He left me plenty of room. And uh, he was barely alongside me. Probably should have just blended... You know, he's getting back on the power and... He, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. But it was certainly an aggressive move by me. But, you know, we're coming into the last lap of the race. I had a lot more pace than them. I, d I had to, you know, I had to pull a move somewhere. I'd only had, what, I don't know how many corners there is in Monaco. But about 20 or so corners left to overtake three cars. So I had to get aggressive. Oh, I forgot I lost my front wing for a minute there. Um, massive lock-up here. Trying to get a car slipped down with no front wing. It makes such a difference now when you lose a, a uh, end plate. And, uh, well, it looks like we are going to be able to keep P3. Bit of a shame, though. The win was certainly on the cards there, but just perhaps being a little bit too aggressive towards the end there. Perhaps I was taking, well, I'd say that, but if I took my time more, you know, I would just probably would have just sat in P3. So we've still ended up with P3 nonetheless. It's pretty good. I achieved my target getting a podium. I think the win was certainly there for the taking, wasn't it? But there we go. 
There isn't always a fairy tale ending in this game, <laughs> especially in lots of people on the uh, exit. They just boot the throttle and, and deal with the consequences. So there we go then, P3. That's not bad coming from the back on a 25% race in a Red Bull. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just tried me straight into the wall there. Well, there it is then. Like I said, podium place. That's certainly what I went for, so that's not bad at all. I'll take that. Um, yeah, like I said, I think there'll be wars on the cards, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't always go, everything can't always go your way, but I'm happy with that, certainly. Quite a few decent moves. Few on the outside there during that race. And uh, Ricardo's going to enjoy this nonetheless. And some of those moves were very Ricardo-esque, weren't they? Diving very late on the brakes. Took the move of my teammate that didn't quite turn out. And uh, here we are then. Here's the results. So 15.5 was my fastest lap, which was 1.5 seconds near enough faster than Kimi Raikkonen. 1.5 seconds quicker. Wow. And we ended up 7.6 back from uh, Raikkonen, of course, because of that lost front wing. And uh, not uh, that big crash behind us then caused lots of havoc, didn't it? My teammate then finished P8 in the end, but uh, about 30 seconds back from me despite me having that wing problem. So there we go then. Pretty decent race. I enjoyed that. Let me know if you enjoyed it too. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.